Hello everyone, once again, this is Doc Smooth 1973 with another video here. Received a package a couple of days ago in the mail from the post office. This package right here is Star Wars Jedi Outcast for the Nintendo GameCube. Was looking on eBay and I saw this on eBay for about 10 bucks. Once again, the seller said everything was included, including the ship sheets the instruction and along with the game he said that the instruction manual was a little bit rough looking but we shall take a look inside and see what it is I had this game before but I believe I had it on the first Xbox it was a pretty awesome game I believed I beat it it's been such a while ago but you know really don't remember it offhand but I believe I beat this one I think this is the second one that was also on the like I said the Xbox it was a really good game so here we go this is what it came in pretty good packaging it was already oh, I already opened it so I said it came with bubble wrap and let's Open it. All right. This is Star Wars Jedi Outcast Jedi Knight Two. Let's see here. Unleash the power of the Force. Calls for one or two players simultaneously. I'm sorry, I can't speak right about now. Um, like I said. When I looked at it on eBay, the seller said everything was included. That's including, like I said, the disc, the instructions, and everything that is needed. Once again, I'm sorry I don't have the music via my daughter. She's not here. I was waiting for her to help me with this video, but we had a long weekend, so she kind of opted out for the video. So that's why you don't hear any music and you don't see the other hand. You just see my hand. So we're going to crack it open right now. Here is the disc. Here is the instruction manual. Let's take it out. Which seems to be in pretty good order. I don't know what he was talking about when he said it was in bad shape. But hey. It's alright with me. So let's thumb through it. Everything seems to be in good order. Sorry if I'm not kind of hyped up with this video right about now. I'm a little tired. Had a very, very long weekend. But I wanted to make the video for you. Like I said, the manual is in good shape. Came with everything needed. And here is the little Nintendo GameCube precaution booklet. Just in case you need to know anything comes with the questionnaire that seems to come with every video game asking you know what do you play what systems you own and stuff like that I'm not going to send that in because that's old and I don't send them in here is the disc let's see Sam really really I don't know if you can see some of the scratches that are at the bottom of the disc but as you've seen, excuse me, have you seen in my other videos, even though there are scratches at the bottom, as long as there's no scratches on the top, it will play. So we're going to set this here. This is a Nintendo GameCube case. Yay. Because it has a Nintendo GameCube here, and you can put your little memory card up there for travel's sake if you take your games outside the house, which I don't. Like I said, here's the front. Excuse me. Here's the back. The case looks really, really good, except for the little nick here. But in the net, it looks like a good case. Well, as I normally do, I'll sit everything on top. I'll turn on the TV. <coughs> T 
TV show power on right about now. Change it to video one. Turn on my pop open the door. Turn on the GameCube. Here we go. There's the startup menu. Sorry, I got to do this all one-handed, ladies and gentlemen, so sorry about that. I'll take the last game out that I was playing, Oops. which was Metal Honor European Assault. I was playing it maybe like a couple days ago. Really, really enjoy this game. I love the Metal of Honor series. Really, really good game. And I will... Pop the Je Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast in. See if it plays. See if there's any skips. Or if the Nintendo GameCube cuts off. Because there's something wrong with the disc. So. In we go. Let's see what we got here. And here we go. So I'll just give you a quick you know, something quick with this video, maybe just the, the intro. Well, I gotta turn this down a little bit because I have the chair up too loud. So right now, it's playing really, really good. There's nothing wrong with the disc. There's no skipping, you know, no stuttering, no stops. And there we go, the Star Wars Outcast. Sorry about the glow off on the TV. Let me see if I can somehow get a little bit better of a picture. But like I said it's it's pretty good. It's loading pretty good. No stops. No stuttering or anything. Though it's taking a little bit long time to load, but it's not a problem. Once again, this is not me playing. This is the computer playing. It's the quick demo of the game. Mm. Like I said, I buy... I buy about 90% of my games on eBay. Sometimes I might go to Amazon. Uh, I was looking at a few other videos and I heard that, you know, you shouldn't limit yourself to eBay. You should look, you know, at other sites. There are some game distributors out there that do specialize in vintage consoles. But for me, I like to find a lot of models on eBay because there are a lot of good deals on eBay you can get a lot of things with free shipping some things you some places you do have to pay for shipping but the majority of mine there are free shipping and when I was looking on eBay especially for this Star Wars game they wanted a lot of money for it sometimes maybe between 15 to 20 dollars and I'm always looking for the bargain and then, like I said I got this one for ten dollars I believe I found this on eBay on Monday and I received it on Thursday so that was uh, really really fast shipping so uh, thank you for watching my video I'm going to play this game for a little bit unfortunately I cannot play it and film at the same time because I'm <laughs> filming via my phone and that's kind of hard when you got one hand on your phone and the other hand on the controller so, I will add this to my collection of GameCube games. 
I hope you enjoyed my brief video. And once again, sorry you do not have the wonderful music provided by my daughter. So thank you for looking at my video. Rate it, comment, and tell me what you think. If it needs some improvement, I will greatly appreciate your suggestions. So thank you once again.